Welcome back to my cycling channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you all the reasons why you should come to Tucson if you're a cyclist. Why I love it here, why I've been coming here uh, every year for the last five years, and why I'm gonna keep coming here. This is a cycling paradise, and I'm gonna give you all the reasons why in today's video. I'm also gonna give you a few, I'm also gonna tell you a few things you need to know before you come to Tucson. Important information that I would like to know my first time coming here. I'm doing a three hour ride today at about 200 watts. Let's get this ride started and I'm gonna tell you all the things I love and hate about Tucson. Let's go. Reason number one why you should come to Tucson if you're a cyclist is this bike path. It's absolutely amazing. It's one of the best bike paths that I've ridden on. And it just, it goes around the whole city. You could belt out at least a four hour ride just staying on this bike path. The city has an amazing infrastructure for cyclists. A lot of the main roads have bike lanes. And I feel, coming from Florida and then coming here, I feel so safe. I never worried about a car hitting me because I spend so much time on this bike path and I always have a dedicated bike lane. I'm doing a final pass on the editing of this video and I got a comment from one of my viewers that lives in Tucson and he says the car situation is bad here, especially when you're on the roads. So I think the reason why I think the Tucson's so much safer than Florida is because I'm spending a lot of my time on the bike path and I'm on bike lanes. I don't go on roads that don't have bike lanes here in Tucson. So I just wanna put that in there and make sure it's clear. Also, I say absolutely way too much in this video. Don't know why, <laughs> just happened. So, sorry. All right, let's get back to the video. Another thing that's really cool is you can see they've built this loop. And I'm Mike. What's up, buddy? Have a good ride. Thank you, you too. This loop and it shows how many cyclists have come through today. Look, total today, 126. This year, 30, almost 34,000 pedestrians. I don't know how they calculate that. I think it might be this sensor down here. All right, let's keep this ride going. Reason number two coming up. Reason number two to come to Tucson is the weather. I'll put an asterisk beside this because it gets cold in the morning, it gets cool in the evenings, and there's probably better places to go in the winter in terms of weather. But in North America, this is one of the best places. Uh, and because there's never a cloud in the sky, like having this sun all the time, like look at this sky. It just completely enhances my mood to have this bright sun on me all the time. So I absolutely love it. Where like even if you're in Florida or some of these other places, there's definitely more clouds and it's very dry. It rarely rains uh, and the weather is definitely a plus, especially this time in February. So that's reason number two, the weather. Definitely come for the weather. Reason number three, Mount Lemon. I'm at the base of Mount Lemon here and it's an absolutely legendary climb. You can also see the scenery of Mount Lemon is absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful, beautiful climb. And as you go up, it changes. You get into the pine trees once you get to the top. It just, to me, it's almost like iconic because this is cycling for me, this climb. We'll go up another mile, one or two miles, and then we'll come down. Let's do it. Let's go down.
Cool guys, that was my first run down Mount Lemon for over a year now and I'm so happy to be back and it just puts me in such a good mood. I love Mount Lemon, I love the scenery, I love the descent, I love it all. It's just such a cool, easy mountain to ride. Now, if you're looking for a crazy climb and a crazy descent, that's not Mount Lemon. You're not gonna have hard turns. You could go down that whole thing without hitting your brakes. Um, and it's it doesn't really go over five or six percent. This brings us to reason number four. This is a huge cycling community here. You could see on the descent how many cyclists I passed. They all wave, you know, most of them wave, but like it's just a huge cycling community. And the, every year I come here, I'm just blown away by how many cyclists there are. Reason number four, cycling community and it makes you feel part of and it makes you feel like it's okay to be on the bike it also makes it safer as you know see here is another cyclist it makes it safer because the cars there's more cyclists and the cars are aware of them big plus cycling community all right headed home i'm going to give you the last two reasons and i'm also going to give you a few things that i wish i knew before the first time i came let's do this Reason number five is the group rides. They have the shootout here, the Saturday and the Tuesday shootout, and it is absolutely one of the hardest and best group rides that I've ever done. The Saturday group rides, you can go five hours, which is absolutely incredible. And the Tuesday is you go up Gates Pass. I'm gonna do a video on that. And it's, you know, it's early morning. It's only about two hours, but it's absolutely amazing. Hands down, the best group rides I've done. I'm sure there's just as good group rides out there around the world. I've only really traveled around North America and France but from what I've done like I keep saying absolutely amazing it's worth it to come here just to do the group rides because you have some of the best riders in North America training here in the winter in Tucson I'm on my way back home and we're passing back through this thing look at how many more people have gone through since we looked at it three hours ago pretty cool all right I'm gonna get home and then I'm gonna give you my last reason and a few things that you should know before you get here. But quick, this is really important. Bike Suplex Kit is a sponsor of my channel. It's a subscription-based kit company. Please go to their website. I'll link it in the description. But we're giving away a pair of 100% speed crafts. So to enter, link in the description. All you gotta do is go to their webpage and you can enter. Not many people have entered, so you got a really good chance to win. I hope you win. So please enter. And uh, yeah, guys, if you wanna come along for the ride of my cycling channel, I have a huge goal hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year and getting my FTP up to 400 watts. Uh, I'm looking to do that in the next couple months. So if you wanna see if I can meet those goals, please hit this subscribe button. And yeah, let's get home. I'm home and the last reason number six is the overall feeling that Tucson gives you when I came here from Florida Tucson because of the cycling community because of the weather because of the beautiful scenery because of Mount Lemon it just gives me this overall feeling uh, that I'm I, I like it like overall good feeling I guess you could say and I really get that coming here and that's my sixth reason why you should come here as a cyclist it just gives you an overall good feeling now the couple things that i will mention that you should know are the road surfaces on the streets are absolutely terrible they're fine on the bike path but on the roads the road surfaces are terrible not complaining and also i'm going to give a little asterisk about these is that some of these things will be more important to some people than others and these are things that i've heard from other people that i've talked to coming from Tucson. Some parts of the city can be a little dodgy where there's some homeless issues and you know, some rundown neighborhoods. And then there's other neighborhoods that are amazing. Again, this doesn't bother me, but these are some of the things that I've heard from other people. Um, and other than that, I really can't tell you anything else that's really wrong with Tucson and why you shouldn't come here. Um, it is a little bit more difficult to get here. You can't, there's not as many direct flights into Tucson. You gotta go into Phoenix and then drive here. Um, 
other than that, yeah, I asked my wife and she couldn't really tell me any other reasons not to come here. So that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I got a lot more videos coming out. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. And yeah, like it if you liked it. And please leave a comment. I love to hear from you. You guys are awesome. You will keep this channel going. Your comments just, you know, keep me so motivated. It's absolutely amazing. So that's it, guys. I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to enter the giveaway.